Welcome back. It is me, Alec. And according to this video title, I am dying. But I am still nostalgic. So there's something. This is happening. And I'm not okay with it. Emo and Scene are going... Bye-bye. We are in my mom's room today to discuss this important matter. This is just where the sun was. Usually I avoid the sun, but when I do go to film videos, I need that thing because I can't afford professional lighting. A lot of people have thought Emo has been dead for about a decade, but a couple hundred of us have been hanging in there and grouping together in unity on the interweb. And it's been keeping me sane. Gradually, things have been at a slow decline ever since 2009. In terms of our numbers, this is starting to sound like a cult. I promise it's not a cult. We're just innocent, fragile people, I promise. There have been a splurge of emo comebacks throughout the years, though, that have kind of kept my hope high. Like, 21 Pilots is now, just this summer, announced that they're back from their hiatus, which is pretty swell. MCR this year has also been rumoring to come back on tour, which is very cool as well. I kind of distanced myself from that whole discussion because it was very emotional for me. So if somebody could let me know in the comments if they are indeed coming back or if they're not, because I haven't heard from anybody and I was hoping I would hear from someone. I didn't realize not talking to people would present an issue during this process. <laughs> And then they started an emo night, which is like a club night where people partay and stuff. And then my digital escape happened and I was just, a, a ton of us were coming through the woodworks. It was great. The reason I'm making this little video is because I actually just need to vent for a minute. <laughs> I'm all for everyone learning more about themselves, discovering new interests, experimenting with their physical appearance, etc and maturing, if that's what they want to call it. But I feel like it sort of reassures that whole idea that emo is a phase. It's not a phase, mom. And it kind of makes me sad. When Panic at the Disco put out Pray for the Wicked, which is a total masterpiece, by the way, a little piece of me was revived and it gave me some hope. But then when you take a step back, things are not looking well for us. There's no more MySpace. <laughs> no more Warped Tour. <laughs> And everyone who used to listen to Fall Out Boy and Sleeping With Sirens is now suddenly a DJ, an Instagram baddie, or some sort of rapper. <laughs> and it just, it hurts my heart a little, I'm not gonna lie. I'm all for expanding horizons as long as they are still being brought to me. The emo power couple, Jolix, Johnny Gilbert, Alex Saram, two precious beings. They were on our team. They still are. I'm not gonna say they're not. Honestly, and if you guys are watching this, which you guys aren't, because you're not, but... <laughs> I love you, and I'm not, this is not like calling you out or anything. You guys are great. But they both no longer have emo hair. And I still stand them so hard. Like, it's so, so, so hard. But like, the hair was just, it was so good. I just, I don't know. And people change, that's understandable. I'm, I'm not trying to be like super bitter here. I just, I just love that like emo look and I don't really know what I'm supposed to do when there's none of us left. I know both of their hair was damaged and there are probably other factors that come into play. So I'm not salty or mad or less a fan of either of them. I'm just mostly concerned for my delicate species. This is what I have to say for any of you who are also feeling conflicted, which is probably like a total of like 12 people, but I think this message is important. I still stand by the whole concept of everyone's a little emo. And once you're emo, like ever, if you've ever been emo, your heart still has some emo in it forever. No matter how much you change your physical appearance. Hi, precious one, hello. She knows I'm having a hard time with all of this, so I think she's here to keep me supported and all that. Cool, cool stuff. Personally, for me, I've realized that I struggle with the themes of impermanence, degradation, and aging slash growing up. 
just consistently throughout my life. I've always struggled with that and it's becoming more and more of a struggle as I approach my 20s and just, you know, it's um, it's no, it's no good. And I can make light of this and laugh at myself, but at the end of the day, it's a little immobilizing. Luckily I have a dark sense of humor so I can kind of make fun of myself and feel a little better for half a second and then cry later. When no one's watching. Rest assured, there will always be some of us though. At least invisibly <laughs> and passively. And then there will also be a couple straggling nostalgic beasts who just rock full out. I support you all. I am kind of like you, except not as cool. There's always gonna be emos, aren't there, Katie? Mostly when I call myself emo, it's mostly just kind of like a cringy, like little nostalgic joke, like emo, yes, because like, yes, I'm emo, but I'm also not. I take that back, I totally am. Make America emo again. A movement. Most people kind of grow out of their emo look physically in their mid 20s and they kind of phase it out a little bit, either become like a sophisticated goth or kind of just mellow out and stop kind of being alternative at all and just start acting like a normal person, I guess, in terms of what they dress like. And that's cool and all, but I don't resonate with any other aesthetic other than emo. So I personally will probably always look at least a little emo. All I know for sure is I'm going to be the weirdest 50 year old man ever. I'm going to be rocking my flippy haired wig, trying to look like an anime character until the day I die with black skinny jeans, eyeliner for miles, covered in tattoos. It's not gonna change really much. I'm just gonna start looking worse and worse and worse. And that's kind of already started happening, but it's gonna just get worse, trust me. It's accelerating. I now have to use bobby pins in my hair to hide the fact that I'm balding. So this is going to be a social experiment and very interesting. Stay tuned. Now that I've babbled on about this for a little bit, I feel a little bit better. I'll be honest, I do. I feel a little bit better. And I also would like to shout out a couple supporters that I super appreciate. I did say that I was gonna start doing this on my Instagram and on my pinned comment from the last video that I did. I'm going to put a couple of comments or direct messages, Snapchats, just screenshots in general of those people that have been super awesome. And this is just a handful of you. So there are other people and you will get your turn. Also, I also want to point out this one tweet right here that I responded to by like my best friend on Twitter who I love and she's great. So give her a follow and just look at this whole thing. This is just so good. This is so good. This is rich and so relevant to this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Click the little bell so you can get the notifications and actually watch my videos. <laughs> yes. Subscribe, comment, share, like, or don't. Before we zippity doo dah on our way out of this video, I would just like to give you a gentle reminder to always love yourself, stay positive, don't judge people, just hug people, and keep it cringy.